Hello and welcome to my latest CEO vlog. In recent weeks, we've all had to adapt and be even more resourceful in how we continue to deliver our services to those who need them most, with as little disruption as possible. I've seen and heard of some fantastic examples of how you're all doing this so that we can keep those vital and often life-saving lines of communication open with our most vulnerable service users. There has been plenty of innovation along the way, plenty of compassion and plenty of resilience. All of us, however, are looking forward to when we can get back to a semblance of normality. With that in mind, I want to reassure you that myself and my colleagues in the strategic leadership team have had initial discussions about how we begin to plan for life in extern once we begin to see restrictions being lifted. Importantly, we will be ensuring that there's an opportunity for staff to feed into this process. However, in the meantime, the lockdown presents us with an opportunity to ensure that the already exemplary systems that you manage remain enabled to be the best that they can be. That means across all departments and all levels within Extern, and we will be looking at how we can best assign staff to achieve this. Finally, I want to finish on our coronavirus hardship appeal. It continues to go from strength to strength, and this week the total raised has reached over 26,000 sterling. The funds donated are already being used to help those most in need, and I want to acknowledge the effort you all have made to link in with the fund and ensure that your clients can receive this additional support at this life-critical time. To highlight this, a few days ago, one of our young people told us how a decline in the condition of their mental health due to the financial hardship and issues with his benefits had led him to suicide ideation. The compassion shown by our staff and £50 sterling in vouchers from our hardship appeal literally saved his life and enabled him to get back on track. So that example shows that your work continues to be quite literally the difference between life and death. Unfortunately, he's just one among many who desperately need our help at this time. But I know that all frontline staff and all support staff continue to help the most vulnerable to overcome the life or death challenges facing them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in a couple of weeks.